just to hide my eye bags if I have any. And I'd have a lot right now. Okay, whatever. <gasps> Hey guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Brianna and today I'm going to be doing the ultimate drugstore everyday makeup look. So when I say everyday, I mean for school because it's back to school season. Everyone's going back to school in September or school might have started for you already. But basically, I'm just going to be showing you guys all the best drugstore and affordable makeup that I use. It's drugstore and affordable. I know that some people get it confused like you can shop online and it's still affordable but it's not necessarily drugstore. So everything that I'm using is drugstore. I really like the way the look came out. You can do this look within 20 minutes or 15 minutes depending on whether you do every single step or you take some out depending on your preference. So if you want to see how I came up with this makeup look then just keep on watching. So the first step that I always do in every single one of my makeup videos is always tie my hair back just because I have so much of it. So the first product that I'm going to talk about is the Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. It's honestly been around for a while. Everyone says it's a dupe for the Benefit Pore Professional, and I find that it honestly is. I used to have samples of the Pore Professional, but it was just too expensive for such a little bottle that I just opt for the drugstore version by Maybelline. And honestly, I really like this. It helps my foundation and helps my concealer stay on all day. What I really like about this primer is that you can find it in the main drugstores here in Canada. So I was actually able to find this primer in shoppers and walmart but usually walmart has all their makeup items marked down compared to shoppers so i recommend checking walmart out first i'm gonna take a pea size and put it on where my pores are most visible which is my nose beside my nose and on my forehead and on my chin oh i'm using my left hand which is so stupid because i'm not left-handed <laughs> Unfortunately, I wasn't able to find a drugstore dupe for my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow powder But I do know that you can use a eyeshadow from any palette that's like that matches your hair color But I also know elf has a really good eyebrow pencil, but that's really just not my preference I used to really love um, eyebrow pencils, but ever since I started eyebrow powder I haven't really gone back, but I do know that they are very easy to use and the formula is really great Back to school makeup, honestly, I don't think makeup is necessary for school at all. However, I do know people really like to wear makeup to school just so that they feel, I don't know, more productive. Everyone's always pulling all-nighters, you're handing in assignments, you're working late. I personally sleep very late during the school year. I'd say two or three is the time that I usually go to bed. So I do like to just lighten up my look in the morning, but after grade 10 i just stopped wearing makeup altogether to school because i felt like it's not really a staple you don't have to wear makeup to school no one says that you have to wear makeup and no one's gonna say anything to you if you're not at least not anyone at my school would say anything i don't know about your school but honestly it's all about what you want to do if you want to wake up early in the morning to do your makeup do it honestly you don't have to wear makeup to please anyone but you honestly and back to the drugstore products, this is an e.l.f. eyebrow and eyelash gel. You can honestly find it in shoppers. I'm not sure about Walmart, but this is just a clear eyebrow gel. For people who don't have to fill in their eyebrows, I really recommend, if you want to do something with your eyebrows, I recommend using a clear gel or a tinted gel, up to you, just to keep your eyebrows in place all day so they don't move around. So in my personal opinion, I never ever wore foundation to school. It's just way too much work. You're gonna worry about touching it up in the morning. You're gonna wanna transfer it on people when you're hugging them or seeing them. So I personally just never ever wore foundation to school. But two that I do really recommend that are from the drugstore or the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Foundations. I have them in the shade W3 and N4. I just mix these. One's my summer shade for when I go back to school. And then W3 is what I use during the school year if you're close to my skin tone. So these are the two foundations that I really, really love. Also the Maybelline Matte and Poreless works really well. This is the Hydrate and Smooth just because I find during the winter I get more dry, but also the Maybelline Fit Me line is really, really good. Depending on your skin type, get the matte or get the hydrating up to you. And now for what I actually use, I use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 20. And this is just what I put all over the face just to, just to hide my eye bags if I have any. And I have a lot right now. Thank you. 
Next, I'm going to go in with an affordable sponge rather than the beauty blender. This is the Morphe sponge, the shape and contour one that everyone knows about. So this is about $9 compared to the beauty blender that's $26. So I like this one as well. So unfortunately my camera died before I got to set my makeup and the entire clip where I was talking about my favorite powders So I'm just gonna do that again really quickly The best powders that I have from the drugstore and that are very affordable are the Maybelline powders This is my ultimate favorite. This is the Maybelline fit me loose finishing powder They do come in shades So you're gonna have to match the colored powder with your concealer they I don't want to say that they're almost the same as Fenty, but they kind of work that way so basically the concealer is in the shade 20 and the powder will be in the shade 20 as well so you don't have to worry about the powder being too light with the concealer being too light because you do want the powder to be able to set your entire face so you don't have to worry about it being too light it is a little bit darker than the shade of the concealer but it will match your foundation shade so you don't need to worry about that I don't know if that makes any sense. Another one that I really like is the Maybelline Set and Smooth Powder. But this powder is really good for on the go because it is a pressed powder and it's not as messy. This powder also is really good because it comes with a little mirror and a little puff. So it's really travel friendly almost and I really like this for school. So just to recap because my camera died, I basically just set my T-zone which is my forehead right here, down my nose, especially in the smile lines right here because I talk a lot and I smile a lot during school so I really want to set those areas just so the concealer doesn't break down there and then I also set my under eyes because I crease there very easily I'm just going to take a drugstore brush you can honestly use any big fluffy brush that you have you you can use the brushes from elf and you can use the brushes from morphe whatever is most affordable or cheap for you Blushes that I really like for school are by Maybelline Fit Me Collection again, and this is the Rimmel Maxi Blush. So this is in the shade 003 Wild Card, and this is in the shade 25. And what I did with my bronzer, I also like to do with my blush, so I'm just going to run it over my nose just to give myself a bit like of a cute look. I think when your nose is a little bit pink, it's honestly just like a really cute look. I think that my lashes turned out okay today, so I'm just gonna leave it. The lip gloss is the go-to lip product for me during the school year. I know a lot of people like to use lipsticks or liquid lips, but for me, I think when you go back to school and every day, you just wanna put something on that you can slide on. You don't have to really worry about lines as much because it's basically clear. This is the e.l.f. Lip Plumping Gloss, and it's in the shade Champagne Glam. And that is it you guys that is the completed makeup look that i have for you today this is my ultimate back to school makeup look it's very glowy oh my god i forgot highlight <gasps> after lips i completely forgot that i'm supposed to do highlighter because i was thinking very simple very casual right but really who am i without any highlights so i just have the covergirl true blend super stunner palette i'm just gonna take the two lighter shade too lighter too darker i'm just going to mix all three shades on my fan brush and i'm going to run that along the high points of my cheeks and for this final final back to school makeup look i'm just going to go in with the maybelline again master fix wear boosting setting spray locks and makeup long lasting finish okay whatever honestly i really like this it makes your makeup last all day long it However, 
I do think that there is alcohol in this, so it's not the best for your skin. I know that the Mario Badescu Aloe like refreshing spray is really good for setting makeup as well, or the rose one. I don't really like roses, so I don't use that one. However, you can either get all this makeup from Walmart or Shoppers or Rexall, but the shade ranges and stuff and certain products and brands aren't carried in each of those stores so you are gonna have to like know where you're going or you're gonna have to like look around a bit but all these products are very affordable they're from the drugstore so guys that is the end of my makeup look today this is what i came up with and Honestly, this is what I would do if I were going to wear makeup to school. But all of these products are very affordable, they're very accessible. You can find them at a Rexall, Walmart, or Shoppers Drug Mart. I could honestly get this tutorial down to 20 minutes or even 15 if I had to really get out the door. So if you like this tutorial, then make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video, which will either be on Sunday or Wednesday because those are the days that I post. So I'll see you guys in the next video.